All right, guys, we're getting ready to install our sink, strainer baskets, our garbage disposal, our faucet, everything that has to do with this kitchen that we're on right now over near the sink. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be hooking up. Right now, all we have is our double bowl sink that was undermounted, all right, undermounted, which means the sink up underneath the countertop. It's not a drop-in, it's an undermount. All we have done right now is a drop-in sink that was mounted by the Granite Company. They did that on site. And as you can see, we're looking right down through the bottom of the sink right into the base cabinet because there's nothing there yet. We've got a faucet that we're just uh, just now dropping down into a one hole setup. All right, the granite people drilled that one inch hole, or actually it's an inch and a half hole, through our top on site and had that ready for us. We did not do that and you will not have to drill through your granite. Uh, your granite company will ask you where you want your faucet mounted, what type of faucet you have, and that'll all be done for you. So we're going to start from scratch here. We're going to be installing two strainer baskets. One of them is going to go right down into a garbage disposal, which we have right here. All right, we bought this Badger over at Home Depot. It's 15 SS series. You don't have to get this particular garbage disposal. It's just what the homeowner chose to put in. Any garbage disposal will do, although I don't recommend buying the cheapest one out there. You know, you generally try to get something, uh, maybe the next model up from the lowest model is fine, but I'd stay away from the cheapest. Uh, so we've got a garbage disposal going in. Uh, we've also got the uh, double sink, so we're going to be hooking up two drains into one, and we've got the kits that we needed to purchase to do that. Right. right here we have a center outlet, continuous waste setup for our sinks. And we've got our P-trap then so we, that we can trap all the wastewater before it goes into the actual uh, drain line that goes through the wall behind the sink cabinet here. So that's it. So there you go. That is everything that we need. Uh, we've also got an oil, an oil bronze faucet. So we went ahead with the oil bronze strainer baskets. You can see they've got a little bit of copper bronze type of color to them. And I believe the one for the garbage disposal is just black. No, actually, that's it's got the oil uh, bronze scratch uh, finished also. That's oil bronze as well. So everything is oil bronze. If you've got yeah. chrome, you'll go with chrome. If your faucet's chrome, if you got a gold faucet, you would you would probably then just go with the stainless steel. But uh, nowadays, the oil bronze is becoming more and more popular. Um, doing more oil bronze faucets than just about anything else. Nickel satin as well. This is what came at our, our uh, garbage disposal. Alright, we got our nice big garbage disposal here. Alright, there it is, our shiny new garbage disposal. Look at that. Look at Would that. you just look at that? Look at it. Looking in, in this box right here. In this box right here, we got the, the supplies that come with it. All right, uh, so this right here came with the garbage disposal. These yep. two things we bought separate. We'll yep. Put them aside here. Yep. What we're going to do is, uh, if we're going to go oil bronze, we're going to exchange the oil bronze for the... Uh, for the stainless, I for guess. The, yeah, we're going to exchange the stainless and go oil bronze. So, so they come with they come stain. with this. Most garbage disposals come with stainless. Parts. Yeah, they all do. Yep, stainless or. So if you want to switch out the oil bronze, you're going to have to swap out uh, what you bought. Yeah. But it all it's all universal. It all fits back together. That's the theory. Uh, we're going to check it out right now. And when this comes with this, you loosen these three screws, and it has a snap ring in here. And you remove his snap ring. And the snap ring is really what holds it all together then. Yeah. I'm going to get in there. There's my snap ring. And now the snap ring he took out with a flathead screwdriver. Yeah. Ta-da. And what I am going to dispose of is just this. And if this one, this new one, looks like this one, then we can use it. And they kind of look the same. Got the nice little ring, so... Yeah, I'm saying we're going to be able to use it. Alright, I'm going to come right back to that, but we are going to put the oil bronze one in there. Uh, first thing you want to do on your disposal is, you want to take your disposal, and we, we're going to wire this thing with a uh, 
with a 110 plug in Pennsylvania. Now, instead of hard wiring your disposal, they want your disposal wired into a, a plug. Which our electrician, which we were the electrician, but our electrician, we have a we have an actual plug outlet under there, and the top part of that outlet comes on and off, on and off with this switch up here. Okay, so the, the outlet is switched. Yep, the top part. The bottom part is always hot. Okay. Uh, in case somebody wanted to put like an instant hot water tap here, they have, they can plug it in if they have an electronic water filter. Okay. That can be plugged in. Uh, this little kit that we got is a hard wire kit for disposals. Okay, it's made by Insincorator, which is just the, probably the most popular uh, garbage disposal company out there. Um, it doesn't matter if it's Insincorator, as long as it is a power cord kit for a food waste disposal. Yep. You know, and now okay. you can even you can even cut up an old extension cord and do it. Uh, sometimes they're even cheaper. I've done that already. But what you got to remember is this is a this is a appliance that has electric and water in it. Whenever you have both the electric and water, it has to be a three-prong plug. That's all. So just remember, whenever you got anything, water and electric together, it's got to be a three-prong plug. It's got to be grounded. Yep, got to be grounded. To install this plug, it's very easy. You take your Romex connector that came with this little kit. You don't even need your twist-on ring because on a disposal, these actually thread right in and lock themselves. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my Romex connector on here, on here, <laughs> unscript it. We're going to put our Romex connector right on there. Look at that, threads in there nice without the little snap ring on it. Ta-da, done. I'm going to feed this wire down into there. Okay. All right, so you take your... Uh your garbage disposal plug that you bought and you put the end without the plug obviously down through the Romex yeah, and that will feed it inside pull it back out through the little yeah. fire door on the other side yeah. and now you're going to make your connections uh, now, the garbage yeah, disposal has got sure three that, wires right Tommy? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's got two wires and you and got the ground. ground screw you want to make take your green ground screw and ground this fixture right away always ground a fixture wherever there's water and electric so we're grounded now. Okay. And this is just a switch operated device. So all we're gonna do is put one wire on one, one wire on the other. It doesn't matter which. So I'm gonna take these right here. I'll use the little nut caps that they give me. And I'll twist them on there really good and tight. Because there's vibration and whatnot. So you got a white wire and a black wire basically. Yeah. So you put the white wire to one of the wires, yep, and then the, the black and the black and yellow to the other. To the other. Uh, and where is my other? Where's my other? It's in here. We are. Here we are. All right. So, so read the directions with your garbage disposal before you put the nut caps on your wire. If you're if you're going to put a plug on yours, you don't have to use a plug. You don't have to plug your garbage in disposal. Pennsylvania, you do now. In, in PA, uh, electrical codes are saying that you have to. And really, uh, all the states in the Union actually worldwide follow what's called the BOCA codes, International BOCA codes. And that applies to electric in almost every corner of the world. So uh, chances are you're going to need a plug wherever you are if you're following International BOCA codes. Uh, and okay. in the U.S., all the states are going to it. Just not all of them are there yet, but Pennsylvania definitely is. So we have to put a plug on ours. And you just snug this Romex connector up, done. Yeah. So All right, so now we're this, wired. Okay. We're wired. The next thing you want to do is we have a garbage disposal that is going to drain into this unit. The garbage disposal drains into this side right here. All right? That's where our, our, our dishwasher is going to drain into the garbage disposal is what I meant to say. Right. Uh, these come, these are plugged solid right now. I cannot get my screwdriver through there. It's, it's solid. In case you don't have a dishwasher, you'll leave this. You'll leave this alone. Okay. We have a dishwasher, and we are going to drain it into the disposal. Okay. So what you do is you take and set this on the side, and you just lightly tap that plug out from inside here. It's just a little plastic insert. There it is. Boom. 
Okay. Is what I took out of there. Now you can see my water's going to go. So only if you have a dishwasher do you knock do you, out that do plug. You knock out and they all plug. have that. All garbage yep, disposals have it. All garbage disposals have it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I got my knockout done. I got my plug done. So this is ready. To, this is ready to be installed. Uh, we choose to put the garbage disposal on the smaller, higher side of the sink. That one's higher and this one's bigger and lower. And this one's bigger and lower for washing pots, pans, or whatever, we're okay. gonna give them the deep sink. All right, but it's really up to you guys which side you wanna put it on, but if you have a, a sink that has two different levels, mm -hmm. generally the higher level is the side, that the, less of the, the less deeper of the two sides is the one you put the garbage yeah, disposal on. Back up top to our strainer baskets. Here we go, we're putting our disposal on this side. So this is our actual disposal uh, strainer ring. That's going to sit in the sink like that. It just drops right down. Doesn't, doesn't that look pretty? And then we also got one. Uh, we're going to do the same thing on this side. This is for our sink basket. They call it a strainer basket. That's going to sit down on this side. All right. Once that's down in there, once that's down in there, from the bottom, from the bottom side, we're going to put the rubber washer, then the paper washer, and then the lock ring. Okay. Is how this is going to go on this side. And that tightens the strainer basket yeah. down into the sink. On this side right here, it's just going to be the strainer basket, then this contraption with the flat side to the sink, then it's going to be this, which hits three points on here, and then you lock your snap ring on there to hold it on. Once the snap ring's locked on, you'll tighten these screws all the way. And the snap ring actually holds the whole garbage disposal, disposal up in until okay. you set these three. I always back these three out, these three screws out, uh, to uh, make it easy to get the snap ring on. Once the snap ring's on, I'll uniformly tighten these three snap rings. Like this, uh, kind of doing this all on camera here for you, so, so you won't even have to read directions because this is this is how they all go. Once again, it's going to be the strainer basket. The flat side to the sink of the, of the ring that has the three yep. sides from the underside of the sink it'll be the flat side going up with the groove down then the screw sides facing up then the snap ring okay. before I put either of these on once again on this one it's a strainer basket rubber washer paper washer and then the lock ring okay. and the only thing you need to put these in with is either plumber's putty or silicone I'm going to use plumber's putty. I'm, I'm kind of old school. Plumber's putty, I think, is better than silicone because one, silicone is kind of an unremovable product. Uh, two, number two, silicone, when you put it on there and you go to tighten these things, it actually spins. If you're going to use silicone, you should actually put your ring of silicone on there. You should actually press this down in there and let the silicone set for, my God, a half hour. And before you start tightening, turning, because when you start tightening this lock ring, it, this will actually spin. Plumber's putty actually grabs that a little bit. Plumber's putty is really easy to work with. All you do is take a piece of plumber putty, you roll it out into about the size of a pencil. There you go. Size of a number two pencil. It's like it's clay, thickness. It's like clay, Play-Doh. Yeah, like thickness. Take that number two pencil, go around your ring one time, Snap it off. This one's ready to go in. I'm just going to flatten that out just ever so slightly. But that's all you need on that side. We're going to do the same thing to the other side here. And this is just, uh, this is called stay put. It's plumber putty. Plumber putty. You know? All right, it comes in little containers. Like I said, it's just like a, it's like a clay material. Yeah, almost and, like a Play-Doh. Uh, Sticky, waterproof. Yeah. Roll that out to about the thickness of a number two pencil. Take and wrap that around there. Find where your two ends meet, pinch it off. This guy's ready. Okay. All right, which do you want to do first, the strainer basket or the uh, garbage disposal? Let's do the harder of the two first. Well, they're both. Okay, so now we're ready for the garbage disposal right. because just the regular drain side's done. Now the garbage disposal's same thing. Pretty much the same. The paper I'm washer put, first. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the cardboard on. Now let's take a look. All right. Let me get under here so I can right. see what you're doing. Remember, this has a flat, smooth side to it, you know, and, and because the screw's set up inside this side. Right. All right. And naturally, your screws are going to go where you can tighten them from the bottom down. So I back my screws out on this. Okay. All right. I got my flat side that's going to go up, sitting on top of there. I got my trim ring ready. 
I'm gonna put this on here. That's the carb put recipe. this on here. There's no rhyme or reason in this, just so your three screws line up with that the triangle. That was cardboard first and then the metal then rings the, flat, yeah, flat side. Flat side. No rhyme or reason in this. One, two, three. I'm gonna find this groove and snap this snap ring on. And then if I find my groove, let me just find out where the opening is on this. Makes it a little easier for me. There it is. I got my snap ring coming towards me. All right, one. You heard that snap on there? Okay. Now I'm just going to uniformly tighten these screws up. And so when you tighten all. these screws up, make sure you tighten them all at the same amount. You yep. don't want one yep. the whole way out and the other two because your garbage is supposed to be hanging crooked under here. Yeah, once you get that on there snug, now see how far they're all hanging down. Yep. When this is on there tight, these screws will be flush with that ring. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to give each one like three turns and go around the horn. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll go four turns and just go right around the horn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, maybe these won't be all the way because this is a different flange that come with it. Usually the flange that you have, they're about uniform, you know, they're about flush inside there. So I'm going to come back to the first one here. I'm kind of doing this by braille. One, two, three, four. I'm about getting flush. Do this back one, one, two, three. Now this flange with these three screws these tightening, this is what holds your your garbage disposal up there. And you know the garbage disposal weighs about five, six pounds and is vibrating. So you want to make sure that this is on there uh, nice and firm. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now that is actually squeezing out the plumber's putty. Alright, that one's <clears throat> good. Get back to this guy here. One's good. Go back to this guy here. Bam. Okay. All right, your garbage disposal, guys, is going to go on just like this. This is a universal product. They're they're all the same. They're going to have the same components. Okay. That's done. All right. All right. To actually put your disposal in there. Before I put my disposal in there, I'm going to put my drain tube on here, which comes in this little drain bag. Now that came with, with the garbage disposal. Yes. <clears throat> right. Okay. All right. It's a side, it's a side uh, entrance from the yep, discharge. Whenever applicable, you want to put that in with this thing facing down. And this just has a rubber washer that just sits right inside here. Okay. Done. This little thingy goes right around here. That little flange. And then, and then it goes in with two screws. And there's my two screws. And that just, that just pre this just presses into the rubber washer right. as that squishes. Look at and that. And that's done. That's just like the, uh, the old covers on the thermostats on a 327 Chevy. Is that right? Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> now you know. Uh, Things have well, real easy. Once that's down on there, uh, once these are tightened down, this still will have movement back, forth, sideways. Right. Uh, you're gonna snug this up. But that will be watertight because yep. of that that uh, rubber in that rubber, rubber washer washer that's in there. Okay. Now that the uh, now that is the actual discharge tube, right? Yeah. That's perfect. gonna head to the uh, over to to what the uh, the other side of the drain, double drain. Yeah, we can still play with this. We can loosen that up and play with that. This is actually going to get set up in here. This is a little tricky for unless you know what you're doing. This gets centered on here. This first ring comes at the beginning of these, and as long as you get all three up at the same time, right there. Just turn the ring. And then you turn the ring. I usually put a screwdriver in here to turn these. And we'll go to this guy right here. And that locks it that's on there. In. Now, even though that's locked in, I can still move this. I can loosen this and still move this. Okay. But right now, my disposal is set and locked in there. That's it. Uh, that's it. That's who, that's this who. is going to get plugged into my top plug. Right. Which may be on. I'm just going to test real quick. Throw the switch. There she goes. Okay. All right. All right. As you can see, our putty did squeeze out up here. Back up top. Our putty squeezes out of there really good. Yes, it did. What I normally do is I just take a 
a screwdriver and just go around there one time. If you got a stainless steel sink, be careful you don't scratch it with a screwdriver. Yeah, uh, you can even take your putty and rub it around there. The rest of that will wear off in time. Same thing over here, get that putty out of your drain. Go once around with a screwdriver. That's your excess putties out. Your excess putty you can throw right back in your Save container. Save that for another day, yeah. yeah. The rest of that will wash off of there. Basket goes on this side. Strainer on this side. All right. I got a weight here. Where this pulls up and down, all right, where that pulls up and down, I'm going to push this all the way up. All right, I'm going to come down here. This is that hose I was just pulling on. Yeah, this is a counterweight that helps pull yeah. that back into the faucet when, you, yeah. when you're using the sprayer. And uh, what I'm going to do is I put the counterweight about, oh, I'd say an inch and a half, two inches up from the bottom of my loop. And that's about it for that. Boy, that's going to be a tough one. Okay. That's about where I put the counterweight, where it's constantly pulling down on that. Now, this is supposed to pull out and kind of like help feed itself back in. Right. Yeah, it just it's like an assist. It's not going to suck it. Right, up right. Just it. makes it lighter. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's done. That's done. That's done. Now we want to connect up our drains and we can turn the water on. Oh, by the way, by the way, while we got you here, I got a hose clamp. This is our discharge. From our dishwasher, From right? From our dishwasher. Now that's coming through the side of the cabinet. We showed you how to do that when we set the, uh, yep. the dishwasher in there in the appliance video. Yeah, this just plugs onto here and gets connected with a hose clamp. Done. I'm gonna do that while I'm thinking about it. All right. The screwdriver is up top right. I'll get it for you. Out with it. There you go. Yeah. This looks like a rather large hose clamp, but yes, it does. Some might, some might have a snap ring, you know, a squeeze ring, uh, or uh, these are foolproof here. I should have got you maybe an inch instead of an inch and a half. Oh, that's fine. These, these tighten right up. Yeah. All right, now this is the actual discharge tube that's coming right from the dishwasher. All right, everything, all the dirty water from the dishwasher is going to become, come blasting out of that hose that Tom's tightening onto the side of the garbage disposal. All right, all the wastewater from a dishwasher goes through the garbage disposal. Hey, here's a little uh, fun food fact uh, while, while we're on video. No matter what dishwasher you have, most people don't read the directions of their dishwashers, but no matter what dishwasher you have, before you turn your dishwasher on, turn your hot water faucet on your sink. Wait until you have scalding hot water coming out the faucet. Shut your faucet off, then start your dishwasher. It washes better for you. Because the hot water is already at the, at the uh, yep, location. Yep, you're not wasting, uh, you're not putting in all that cold water. Uh, till it gets to the hot water and, and right. somewhere in your direction book it'll tell you to do that right but uh, I ask I ask people that nine times and nine nine people out of ten are not aware of uh, to run the hot water faucet first right so hot water comes out before you turn that on Policeman, I bet I can drive faster than you can.